Ooh, okay, anime, Max. Ori, get ready. Hochik, get ready. Dang, this is cool. I'm liking the animation, and once again, like, the fact that this runs at 144 is awesome. Hey, everyone. Today, I'm playing Temtem. This is a game I've had my eye on for a very long time. Oh, apparently, uh, the game is at capacity, and I have to wait to get into the game. So, yeah, I guess I'm gonna... Let this cook for a little bit. Okay, that was a good like 20, 30 minute wait. Ooh, you can play this at 144 frames. This is, this is good stuff, dude. Okay, so now we're gonna make our character so we can be female or male. And, um, I'm kind of a brown boy. Uh, let's go with this one. Style. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so we got some interesting walks here. Um, ooh, this one's like anime, dude. We kind of have to go with this one. What's next? Our head. So, we have... I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I can't... Oh, it's the jawline that's changing. It's because my hair is too anime for me to see. Let's do hair really quick. So, we have a selection of hairstyles here. And honestly... Not a bad selection. Something that is weird is when I press up um, or down when I'm in the hairstyles is it doesn't go directly down. Like, I'm going to press down right now. It just goes to the first one on the, the, the next row, which is a bit weird, but I, I don't know, whatever. This kind of looks like Link's hair, honestly. Bro, you can rock the Etika Deluxe. Let's go, bro. <laughs> so these are the tops you can pick from. And uh, you can go full blown, no shirt, rock it out. And uh, there's quite a few selections here, not bad. We can have like a gradient type of shirt, that's kind of cool. And here are the selections of, they call them bottoms, so your pants. Oh, they come with shoes though, so shoes and like pants are kind of combined. Gotcha. Dude, they have a lot of different cool selections here. Like, there's a lot of variety. I like almost all of these. Okay, it's time to change up my face because um, I wasn't feeling the one they gave me. Um, they have pretty much every anime look you could ever dream of. Like, they really got it all going on here. I think I want to be angry. Oh my gosh. That kind of reminds me of Dio from JoJo. I mean, I haven't really watched too much JoJo, but I don't know, just those angry eyes kind of look like his. And then we get to customize the backpack. So you can have like a simple one or a big old bulky one for going out on hikes. I think I like the simpler one better. Oh wow, you can pick what pronoun you want to go by. This game really thought of everything. All right, yeah, this is the final look I'm going to go with. And honestly, I really like it. Uh, something about the color teal, man. I think teal has to be my favorite color, even though I keep saying it's green. But, I don't know, man. This look... I think I look fresh. Let's do this. Oh, and last but not least, there's voices. I forgot. They both sound pretty young, but I guess in Pokemon you're supposed to be like a young protagonist anyway, right? Linklight, Linklight, still sleeping? Come on, wakey-wakey. <gasps> Ooh. I like the art style of this game. It's just so... I don't know, simple, but it, it just works so well. I really like it. Good morning, Linklight. Morning. You better wake up fast. They're all waiting for you. Who? Haha, <laughs> you sleepyhead. You really don't remember what day it is? Today, it's, oh, today is my apprentice's eve. Haha, oh. <laughs> yes, exactly, my dear. Congratulations. Oh, dang. You got one Tempedia? Okay. This quintessential device every tamer should have. This Tempedia records crucial info on every Temtem scene and caught. Yours is a present from Ayana. Wait, so this is like the Pokedex. You get it right away. No, no meeting the professor, all that. And here's your apprentice Eve present. Just what I wanted. You're an apprentice now. Soon you'll be heading to academia. Uh, so I figure you need a good Tempedia. Thank you. So you know how- so do you know how it works? Yes, a Tempedia lists the Temtem I capture and stores info about them. Professor Consantinos showed us how to use his. And now you have your own. Well, hurry up, they're all waiting for you. Cool. 
We're ready to play. So complete freedom of movement, if I recall correctly, this is actually even more um, free than um, Sun and Moon. I mean, sorry, not Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon was like grid movement still, kinda. I don't know, it just feels a lot more smooth than Sword and Shield, I'll tell you that. Maybe it's just the movement speed. But yeah, this feels really solid. And once again, the art style. And the fact that it runs at 144 hertz on my computer is just insane. Zadar, home sweet home. Getting a little overview of the hometown. <gasps> Everyone's gathered here. It's Linklight, congrats. Happy Apprentice's Eve, Linklight. Oh my, all of Zadar is here. Congratulations, Linklight. We know this is a big day for you, but we're also going to miss you. We got a little pocket money for the trip to Academia. It's not much, but we've all chipped in. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much, my dear neighbors. But Linklight, where is your friend Max? Someone calling? Oh, hey, Linklight. Did you know it's my Apprentice's Eve, too? Hello, Max. We are waiting for Professor Const... Constantinos. Hey, kids, are you ready? Ah, Professor. Please take care of Linklight. Ah, children, they grow so fast. And one day, they're gone. Don't worry, my dear Ayana. I'll drop Linklight and Max off at Academia on my way to the university. I'm not even going to say his name anymore from now on, so if you want me to keep messing it up, too bad. We're just rolling with the professor from now on, because this is just too much. Cool, can we go with you? Oh. Heh, you're still a bit too young to come with me to university, Max. But who knows, perhaps one day if you persevere. What about you, Linklight? Big plans for the future? Mm -hmm. Linklight isn't good at handling Tentem, but that's okay. Don't worry, Linklight. You can always stay here and take care of Ayana, right? Hey. <laughs> Max, Linklight, come with me. We'll drop by my lab to grab a couple of things, and then we'll be on our way. Take care, Linklight. I love you. I know you'll do great. Come on, kids. Let's go. And we're off. Adventure begins. Ooh, and you have, like, little objectives on the right side, which is super useful. So you can click down on the analog stick to kind of see, like, what, uh, like, little tips you have. Which I guess is useful if you forget stuff. There's nothing in there. Oh wow, okay, so loading screens are quite long. Um, however, I was told that that's due to the fact that there's just so many people on right now, like day one. So it'll probably get better with time. But yeah, holy cow, just from going in a building, that took ages. Professor Constantino's lab, please do not disturb. Well, we gotta get in there. Okay, so that was fast. Going in is fast, maybe just going out is like slow. Hey, Linklet, come here. Oh. Very well, kids. As you know, this is your Apprentice's Eve, meaning you have already learned all the basic theory about Temtem. Now you're ready to handle your first Temtem. See those glass jars? Each contains a different Temtem all around the archipelago. Archipelago? Is that how you pronounce that? Oh. Hey, Teach, do you have any digital? Oh. Digital Temtem are a recent invention, my young friend. They are very seldom found. Ha! Huh. I have one. Where did you get that? Doesn't matter, Linklight. From the fanciest to the humblest of Temtem, it is Tamer that makes all the difference. <laughs> and since Max already has a Temtem, let's get you one too. Take your pick. What? Why does Linklight get to choose and I don't? Mm -hmm. Quiet, please. Oh. Go ahead, Linklight. See which one you like the best. Take your time. The first Temtem is always an important moment for every Tamer. Okay, so this is like... Choosing your starter. Now, this one clearly looks like... Grass, fire. No, wait, is this like, was that like crystal, fight, and psychic or something? Oh. Crystal is a crystal temtem. It's strong against electric and mental, but weak against fire and earth. Okay, so I'm gonna have to like try to make like a mental note of like all the types again. So, crystal being weak to fire and earth, it makes sense to earth because earth is like a rock that can shatter a delicate crystal. I don't know why, I guess fire can crack, like, glass, so I'll go with that. I caught this one in the ashen plains of Tukma, near the Amethyst Barrens. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want this Temtem? No thanks. Then this guy. Oh. Smaze is a melee Temtem. It is strong against earth and crystal, but weak against mental. I won it in a pub brawl once in Lochberg. 
petty days. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want this Temtem? So this one has one less weakness in the crystal, so maybe melee is a pretty good type. This is Hochik, a mental Temtem. It is strong against neutral and melee. Okay, so neutral type is a thing, but weak against crystal. I bought it from my Alma Mater in the Properton College. So, crystal over there is weak to two things, but these two are only weak to one thing. Okay, well, I'm debating between this guy and this guy. This one looks way cooler. I feel like most people are gonna pick this one. And he's literally floating and like moving around like levitating objects. Oh. And if most people are gonna pick him and this guy's weak to him, uh, I don't know, man, that's that's pretty bad. All right, I'm doing it. I'm gonna pick oh. Hochik. I think this will be cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> excellent choice, Linklate. You got a new Temtem, Hochik, yay. Ooh, okay, and then it tells you all the stats. It even tells you SVs, which is like information that you normally wouldn't be able to get from a regular game. So that's kind of cool. Rename, no, I, I actually don't like renaming my Pokemon and I especially will not rename stuff here because um, I want to learn all the actual names of all the Temtems. Time to move on, kids. Let's do it. Use LT to open the action menu. Oh, wow. Dude, that's such an organized in like um, menu. Like, look how neat this is. It's like the PlayStation menu. So I can look at my trainer card here. Can you just switch this stuff? Oh, you can dye your hair later in the game if you want to. Same with... Same with your clothes. That's pretty cool. I wonder if there's like rare dyes that you have to like work hard for or something. That'll be really cool. I hope this game has like a cool trading system, like not just like Pokemon or sorry, Temtem, but also like items. I feel like MMOs usually have like pretty lame markets. The best market I've ever seen in MMO is like RuneScape's market. It's just like so free. And I think that's really cool. Like everything's tradable. Linklate, the teacher's pet. You think you're better than me, don't you? And now you have your brand new Temtem, huh? Let's see what you can do with it. All right, anime kid, let's fight. Oh, I guess we're doing a long loading screen. Wow, that was that was like uncomfortably long. Let's do this. And then you guys just both sit there staring at each other. And then he's like, all right, it'll kick in any, any moment now, hopefully. Ooh, okay, anime, Max. Ori, get ready. Hochik, get ready. Dang, this is cool. I'm liking the animation. And once again, like the fact that this runs at 144 is awesome. So another big change between Temtem and Pokemon is that um, your Pokemon have SP meters, uh, which is kind of like um, like a stamina bar, or not a stamina bar, like a mana bar in like other RPGs. So you don't, your moves don't have their own like PP. They have, um, they use up certain amount of points. And once you use up all your points, then your Temtem will like begin to hurt itself, which is pretty interesting, it's, it's different. Now, these moves are like grayed out, so can I not use these? Not ready, what does that mean? The move is not ready? Choose the target, all right, we're gonna kick this guy. And now we're gonna wait, because the loading times are taking forever, oh man. Oh my goodness, wow, that is really long. Kick. So it does that much damage, and he uses Data Burst, which one-shots me. Okay, I have a feeling we were destined to lose this fight. Ha! Huh, take that, Link Light. My first victory. Hurrah. Max, you suck, dude. What the heck was that? Now, nah, I cut it out because I don't even want to bother with it anymore, but let me tell you, that took like a good like 20 seconds to load back into the game. So at launch, the loading times are pretty awful. You won, Max. That digital Temtem of yours really gave you an edge. It's all about the tamer, not the temtem. Didn't you say that a minute ago, Teach? Congratulations, Max. Don't let this first defeat affect you too much, Link Light. You never really stood a chance to get Ma against Max's Ori. Digital temtem are a rare and powerful innovation. Let me take a look at your Hochik. It could use a couple of bandages and balm. They are all healed. To level the playing field, I have something for you, Link Light. Was that a bird? That was Toucan Sam, bro. What, what is he doing here? 
We're just waiting here. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so bad. If I was streaming this, this would be awful. We're still waiting. You got a new Temtem, 2Y, yay. Oh, but now other people are loading in. I see all these people standing here. There's like 50 trillion people standing in this spot. That's hilarious. All right, cool. Um, so I'm gonna keep him as is, and he's wind type, so that's kind of cool. See why it might not look like much, but he's one of the rarest Temtem I've ever found. Take good care of it. I have reasons to believe there's more to it than meets the eye. What? I don't get one of those? You already have your digital Temtem, Max. Still, not fair. My research suggests that 2i might react to certain places of power, but I haven't found any on, that isle on this island. That's why I'm going back to Arbury to consult with my peers. I have to catch an airship, but I can walk you kids as far as Academia. Bah, we don't need a babysitter. Fair enough. Perhaps you can travel on your own. It'll be a way to prove yourselves. Very well, Linklight. Max, I'll go ahead and wait for you in Brickle de Mar. You two head north and meet me there. Listen up, the path is teeming with Temtem. So have a few temp card. Use them to capture wild temtem. Okay, so temp cards are like pokeballs. Understood. And everyone here is just standing still and loading because these loading screens are so bad. Holy cow, man! Now, something that is cool about this game that I already like um, is your temtem follow you around. Now, that was a feature that was kind of exclusive to Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I don't think they ever brought that back. And. That's super cool, dude. I think it's such a nice touch that really makes a big difference. You got eight Tem cards. All right, cool. And since they won't go down without a fight, have some Ball to heal your Tem Tem after battle. So Balm restores 25 oh. HP. That's it. Good luck and remember, I'll be expecting you in Brickle de Mar. Be prudent, kids. All right. So let's play. Yes, now we can move. And there's other players here. Um, can you like just walk up and talk to people? Oh, you can interact with your own Temtem. -tem. He sings. That's kind of cool. I'm trying to test out the other buttons, if they do anything. Um. Oh wait, so this is like an emote menu with the left bumper. So I can wave. I can point at someone for battle. Dang, that's kind of vicious. I can tell someone that I'm deeply in love with them. And I can also laugh. Wait, these emotes are so cool. I love the little animations and sound effects. They're super good. Well done. Hopefully they'll do like some cool ones that maybe you can unlock or purchase or something in the future. And this must be Turgasa. It's called Turquesa, and it can't be this. I know how to read a map, hun. Windward Fort must be real close now. Look at Pansun Girl. That's the other shore. The map. Turn it around. See the sea? That's that side. Oh dear. I give up. All this open space is confusing. We're lost. Told you so. When we passed that other village, you insisted it wasn't on the map. Anyway, let's ask a local. Excuse me, we're quite lost. Can you give us a hand? What's this town called? Oh crap. Oh, it, it's Zadar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By Anak, we're on the southern tip. Told you, we've been going the wrong way since Ariel... Arisola. Thank you. Looks like we're not going to do any hiking in gifted bridges, so we might as well enjoy our stay. Wait, why is why is this player standing on top of the NPC, dude? What is going on? Alright, um, obviously still an early access boy, so don't sweat it, man. It's just, you know, part of the process. I like the little conversations, though. I wonder if all the NPCs have something unique to say. Pig epic. My pig epic. Good morning, Texel. What are you doing? See you around. So you have like multiple options for responding to people, which is something you don't really get to do in Pokemon like ever. Good morning, Texel. Hi, Linklight. Sorry, I'm trying to catch my pig epic. He's so fluffy. Okay, but be careful. Piggy. Okay. Yeah, it's like I really like I really like the variety and like speech options that you have. Hey Linklight, what's up? Hey! Is it true you're going to Academia and Brickle de Mar? And you're going to become a real Temtem -tem tamer? And Max is going with you? I wish I could go too. I wish you could come too. But you still come from time to time to visit your friends, right? Have a blast in the city. Just say hi whenever you're back. Sure, my friend. Cool. So far, first impressions are quite positive. I'm really liking the like visual art style and the music. 
and uh, the dialogue seems to be fairly fresh. Now, I'm wondering if this is a trainer that's going to battle me. I'm nervous. Oh, here we go. Stop! The Praisen Coast is dangerous. Remember to use a bomb if you're in trouble. This is not an easy tour. All right, we're in. And this is a guy... Oh, the battle icon indicates that he's currently in a battle. So let's try to do our first battle. I like the way the grass moves around. That's kind of funny looking. Come on, baby, give me a battle. Oh, here we go. I think I found one. I froze. And I think we have to wait for it. Okay, maybe getting in a battle is not the greatest thing ever because it takes forever to load. But you know what? I mean, I can wait. Not too bad. And now he's leaving. I like how you can see what other players are doing while you're, like, loading. But his battle icon is still above his head, so I don't really know what's going on there either. I'm still waiting. It's been, like, maybe, like, a minute now. That's crazy. All right, here we go, baby. Our first wild encounter. Give me the give me the good stuff. Let's do this. Okay, we're loading again after the animation. Nice. Great. Okay, here's my official Temtem review. So far, really fun, but uh, have a phone nearby for uh, mindless Twitter scrolling and, I don't know, mobile games while you wait for the actual game to load. Okay, so it's been like another minute and I'm still on this black screen, so that's nice. Okay, so I've been waiting here for about three minutes, and I went to the Temtem Twitter, and it says that they're, you know, obviously under a lot of server load right now, and they're trying to make the game run more smoothly. They also tweeted out that they bought food for the dev team so they can focus on the hotfix and not on being hungry. I thought that was a really cute tweet. I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, you know, they're trying their best to make sure it runs smoothly. Honestly, I'd say like within a week, it'll probably be really smooth. This is kind of how like most modern games turn out. Like right when a new game comes out, it's really hot. Even Call of Duty has this problem. And Call of Duty is like one of the biggest games ever. So um, yeah, it's launch day. Obviously load times are gonna be long, a lot of issues, but um, yeah, give it a good week and it should be like really smooth, no problems. Just, just in case you were like using this video as a way to determine whether you want the game or not. Uh, don't let all the load times be something that detours you from your your perspective of the game at all. It's definitely um, just something that happens to every online video game. Okay, so I'm reading on Twitter that a lot of other people are getting like black screens when they enter a battle. Some people are even claiming they get kicked out of the game when they pick up an item, which is kind of scary. Oh wow, okay, we just got an update. Server connection has been lost. Oh gosh. Please don't make me wait in a queue again. Come on, dude. No. Reconnect. You are now 157,000th in queue. One moment, please. Temtem is currently at No, I'm at queue! No! 7,000, dude. Bruh. Wow, okay, so the game just put us right into the battle that we had, the random encounter. Um, so that's kind of interesting. So um, I have 22. Um stamina points, but I still can't use my hypnosis or sideway moves for whatever reason. Um, I believe they have to be charged up or something. So we're gonna do a kick and we're gonna go, you can kick your own Tem Tem, that's so messed up. Okay, perfect. Let that load for a bit. And now we get to be 2i. So I can use Wind Blade, which is cool. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. I really like the battle music. It's actually really, it just reminds me of, like, Sonic Unleashed or something. It sounds really good. Okay, so we're hitting with the kick. Good hit. And now wind. Ooh. Well, that went pretty smoothly, and you get a nice detailed um, interface to show you, like, all the stats that you gained if you level up and stuff. Okay. Not bad. Now, if that ran super smoothly with no loading screens, that would be, gr that would be fantastic. It looks really cool. The animation, the presentation, everything just looks phenomenal. And we're back in. I'm kind of nervous to get into another random encounter, so I'm gonna try to avoid it as long as possible, just so that we can play more. Oh, looks like we're getting stopped by a trainer right now. Aha, uh -huh, finally, someone to test my skills again. Pepe the Fishmonger? Wait, what? <laughs> Let's fight, dude. Get ready, Linklate. All right, I'm getting ready. Okay, it's loading somewhat at a reasonable rate. Here we go. Please don't crash. 
All right, we are in and we're ready to battle it out. Here we go. Ho Chick and the dialogue goes pretty fast to the point where I can't read the names because I still don't know the Temtem names, but here we go. Look at that pig one, dude. He looks so funny. I like him. All right, I'm gonna rock the kick. So at the end of every battle, your stamina completely fills up again, so that's something to keep in mind. It's uh, only per battle where the stamina matters. We're gonna rock the wind blade. We're gonna focus the pig. Nothing against him, you know, just kind of, it's nothing personal. All right, we're using kick. Does a decent amount of damage. We're gonna get hit with peck. Wind blade. Ooh, half damage, so that means it was not very effective. But now I've unlocked my psychic moves, which is really good. So maybe certain moves have, you have to wait. Wait, does this timer mean just wait out the turn? That's interesting. I wonder what it all means. I'm too nervous to click them. I don't want to do something I regret. So I'm going to use a hypnosis. Oh wait, Y is for details. Okay, so if you press Y, you get some details on what it is. Ooh, so this will put the da uh, the target to sleep. It does zero damage and it has it takes twelve stamina. Men's sauna and corporate sano, but the other way around. What? So this one does sixty one damage and it has a priority uh, level. If you guys can see that this one has three, this one has one, and this one has two. So I guess the speed stat isn't really a thing, and priority really is what matters here, on whether it goes faster or not. So we're gonna do Psy Wave, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit the, the little birdie guy. And then we're gonna use Peck on the pig. I think this is the move. We're using Peck, finish them off, see you later pig. Now we're gonna use Psy Wave. Ooh, that's a clean animation, I like that. Almost took it out in one go. Oh my gosh, look at that stare. Not bad, and my defense is down. So we get our XP right after we take down that guy, and then I have to wait again if I want to use um, Psy Wave, it has a cooldown, which is interesting. Now I can't seem to find like any relevant information to let me know what exactly the cooldown is, like how many turns I have to wait, but there you go. So we're going to do a simple kick and a simple peck, and that should be good enough to finish off this bird. I'd be really surprised if he actually tanked it. Now after three minutes of loading, Paharo, I believe, is about to go down. No, wait, we have another three minutes of loading. Gotta wait that. All right, here we go. Peck, finish it off. Let's go. I also noticed that you gain a little bit of stamina after a KO, so that's kind of interesting, uh, if you noticed that right before the transition. Tem Tem up. You earn 43 suns. The power of 43 suns. You beat me. Solaro, take me. You're pretty good for a kid, Linklight. And now I get to walk around. This girl's in a battle, and this guy's just chilling out right here. Oh, it's a double battle. Should I heal? I should definitely heal. So I need to go to my menu, go down to backpack, and then use my bomb on 2i. 2i recovers health. Now there's no animation to indicate that he recovered health, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the game's word for it. Um, oh, I actually can't back out. What the heck, am I stuck? I can't, I can't back out of this menu. Maybe the game needs to load. It needs to process that this uh, Temtem has recovered health. There we go, that's an animation I was looking for. All right, here we go, we're going in. Hi, young one. Would you care for a friendly Temtem match? Don't bother the students, Orhan. They're probably on their way to academia. You're going to make them late for class. Consider this a practical lesson, then. There will be times when you'll be fighting two tamers at the same time. Or fighting alongside a friend, like we always do. Let's see how you do, Fido. Okay. I guess we're getting into battle. I want to see how it works when you, like, team up with a friend. Now, I don't know any of my friends who have this game yet. I have a few that will be getting it maybe in a few days or so. So I won't be able to showcase any of that. But um, I was told that you can play through the entirety of the game with a friend. So if you have a buddy that really likes Pokemon and you guys always like, you know, trade Pokemon and stuff, this would be a perfect game to get in with them because you can do the entire game together doing double battles and just messing everybody up. Because all the battles are double battles anyway, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it's a really interesting feature if you want to play with a friend. Okay, so after another six and a half years of loading, we are finally in the battle. Ho Chicken 2 Y, let's get it, baby. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rock the kick as always. We're gonna go ahead and focus one of them. That's kind of the strat here. Windblade on this guy. Hopefully it's uh, 
just effective or super effective. Kick. Okay, standard stuff. Wind blade. Standard stuff. Not bad. Tenderness. So my attack is down since I'm now tender. Oh, look at the, look at the floppiness of them. I like the animation. It's pretty cute. All right. So um, we're gonna go ahead and kick this guy, and then since two I did a lot more damage, it'll be a good fresh start in the second one. Kick. Boom. Finished him off. <laughs> His sound when he faints. Tenderness. Look at that flob, bro. Oh my gosh, my attack is just getting drained right now. That's okay, I still- wait, I leveled up and now I can unlock a new technique. This is cool. So, a shrill voice does 42 damage. Widely used by academia teachers, this neutral technique deafens the whole class. Eh, team. Okay, cool. Except, I'm all for unlocking new abilities. Let's go, boys. And then it shows the stats that you increased in, which is also pretty cool. So we're gonna hit him with the Psy Wave, which is a special attack, I'm pretty sure. And then we're gonna use Shrill Voice, new move. Let's check it out. Okay, so Psy Wave should... Oh, it's a times two! Because Psy is effective against um, neutral, I'm pretty sure. Okay, cool, that was pretty easy. Don't hold back, come at us. You earn 45 suns. Dude, honestly, I this game is so cool. I just wish the loading screens weren't complete garbage. Oh, man. Okay, so... <clears throat> I'll play again until I crash. I think this video is going to be, like, my early first impressions. And then if you guys want, want to see, like, my full first impressions, I can make a video in the near future about that. Um... But also, they did release a patch, like, within the past, like, 10 minutes, so maybe that made things a lot smoother. It seems like it's slightly better. Well done, you'll be a great tamer one day. Cool. Whoa, whoa, wait. Don't attack, I'm not a tamer. I'm just training here. Let's fight. No, let's... Should we battle him? Nah, let's not. Training what? Free running. It's a great way to get fit and much healthier than all those Temtem battles you're so fond of. I'd rather make the effort myself instead of making others fight for me. And the Praisen Coast is a great training ground. Sounds interesting. It is, and very good for you too. For instance, have you tried jumping over ledges, like that one right there? You can jump over it when you approach from the right side. Of course, you can't climb up again from the other side, but running around is half the fun. Alright, uh, I'm not gonna... I guess I don't have a choice. I just hopped off and I didn't mean to. And now I'm in a battle! No! Come on, dude. Hey you, this is supposed to be my spot. You've come to pick all that sweet stuff lying around? Well, me too. So I'll tell you what, let's fight. All right, we're getting in a battle. Another three years of waiting. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get some water, dude. I'm sure it'll be fine by the time I get back. All right, here we go, baby. That first dialogue box is next to impossible to read. It goes so fast. Maybe there's a way to like slow down the dialogue, but also at the same time, like if you've done six billion battles, you kind of just want it to go fast anyway, so. It's probably all good. Now I remembered this time that wind is not very effective against these guys, so we're just gonna go with a simple peck. Ooh, hit him with the peck and hit him with the kick. Still not enough to take him out though. Wait, he, pig, epic pig, pig epic uses bamboozle. What does that even mean? Oh, they're buffing each other. That's cool. Very thoughtful of them. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use psi wave on the stronger one. And if they're neutral, that should do more damage, I think. I don't know. And then Shrill Voice. Shrill Voice works on both of them. Perfect. That's what I want. Psy Wave. Failed due to the effects of Bamboozle. No way, I missed because of Bamboozle? That's clickbait. And that was weird. There was some sort of, like... Uh, ability used by the pig epics that made it so it didn't get hit by something. Traits are innate abilities with unique effects in battle. Yeah, yeah, that was like an ability. Traits are, okay. Each Temtem has species, each Temtem species has two possible traits. Each Temtem will only have one of the two traits. Okay, so we've seen this before. Okay, we got that peck and we got that kick. Finished them off. Very nice. Okay, so now we're just gonna do do the piece of resistance and just completely finish it off. Easy clap. 
Okay, so if you guys notice when I'm hovering over Shrill Voice, it costs 12 stamina points, but I only have 9. However, as you can see, if I use this move, it will actually take away from my health because I don't have enough stamina points to supply for the move. So that's really interesting. Um, it probably adds a lot of really dynamic decisions that you have to make in the middle of a, like a battle, which is pretty cool. Uh, I kind of like that a lot. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the final blow. See you later, pig epic. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but I mean, whatever, dude. <laughs> Winner takes all. Yeah, get out of here, anime kid. Wow, you're a tough one. Okay, go ahead, get whatever you find, you've earned it. Cool, is there like hidden treasure and goodies around here? I'm kind of nervous to walk in here. I don't see anything here. Okay, I guess I just hopped off. Well, there you go. We're going all the way around again. This guy's name is My Love. I want to see like social features here. So let me go ahead and find someone here. Waterweed. And let me use my mouse. Can't click on them, but maybe in the menu. Friends. So I have to add friends. I don't have any friends. <laughs> uh, interact. Ooh, okay, so you can interact with people here from a list around you to do something with them. So since we're standing next to Waterweed, I guess, uh, click on them. And then I can either trade with them. I can't whisper them, maybe because I have to add them as a friend. I can add them as a friend, co-op, casual battle, competitive battle. I can inspect them. So this will show me their info. It's probably gonna take forever to load considering the fact that the server is like kind of under a lot of pressure and I can't back out. So maybe, I don't know, someone's wearing something that looks super cool. You can inspect them and see what they're wearing. I know I do that a lot in RuneScape. It's kind of a cool feature. Okay, so it finally loaded in and this is what you can see. You can look at their stats. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. They have a Tataru, they caught one. So that is pretty cool. That took forever to load, so I'm kind of scared to click on other stuff, but it's, you can kind of get an idea of what kind of social stats you can check out when you look at people, which is pretty interesting. Wait, is that guy not moving? Is he just floating? Wait, there's a chest over here. Let's grab this. All right, we're kicking it open, and we got... A loading screen. Da, da 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 Now while we're waiting for this to kick in and finally do something, I do want to mention that I really like the heads up display in this game. Like just your little Temtems in the bottom right with their health bars and their levels and then the mini map. Everything just has like a really cool aesthetic that I just think looks fantastic. So whoever is in charge of the UI and the design of it, like they did a fantastic job. Like really, really well done. Okay, so I think the um, items are like pretty much like hard crashes. This is the longest I've had to wait so far. Um, I feel like everyone here is kind of locked up and they're probably regretting picking it up. But I still think it's funny how you can see people moving in the background. Like if you look at Tinker Cookie, they just walked off screen and Eric over here. Um, so like it's just like loading. I don't know. It just takes forever. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. I kind of want to get this video out on launch day in a timely fashion. Um, this game has a lot of promise. And at once again, like everything that works besides the loading screens, like is really cool. So I'm excited to give this game like a full fair chance once the hype dies down or maybe they get like more like, I don't know, server juice going and the game runs a lot more smoothly. But yeah, that's my first impressions, the visual art style, the animation, the music. Um, so far, I see a bright future for Temtem, and I can't wait to play it even more. So that's going to be it for me. If you want to see more Temtem on the channel, let me know. Subscribe, leave a like, let me know in the comments. Uh, your feedback is appreciated. I do whatever I, I want on this channel. It's kind of just like a, like a for fun thing. But yeah, let me know if you guys like it, and if you like Nintendo, Smash, or any other kind of, kinds of stuff like that, then uh, check out my other videos on the channel. Uh, playlists will be on the end card. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.